right now, what is your assessment of this team and where it's at in its growth in Mark's system? Yeah, I think it's going to take some time to, you know, play the, ty the style of soccer and, and football that he wants. Um, I don't think we're there yet, but, uh, you know, we're sticking to the mission and the game plan and what he expects of us and sometimes at our own fault. And um, that's the difficult part is we're going to have to go through some growing pains to ultimately get where we want to as a team. Um, but I do, I think we've had a lot of growth each game. You know, it's, it's getting better and better and better. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm excited for a new challenge and a new test this weekend against Salt Lake. And, um, you know, we've, we've put together some good minutes. You know, I think at most maybe a 45 minute half, but I think we have to put together, you know, a full 90 minute game, 90 plus minutes of good soccer that we can be proud of and we can walk away and, um, you know, be excited about and continue to grow and move forward. You guys got your first point against Seattle. Where's the confidence level of the team at after seeing a, a result? Yeah, I mean, we're, we're, we're confident and, you know, we know we feel very prepared and, and we know what, what has to be done. And it's just a matter of executing and, and performing and everyone performing and doing their part so we collectively can be successful. Um, it's always, you know, it always feels good to be at home and be in our beautiful stadium and our beautiful pitch and not have any excuses. Um, I think any team that goes to Seattle is going to have a really hard time uh, just with the, the pitch and it was a little difficult at times so um, we had to adjust our game plan. So I, I, I feel like we're in a really good place and clearly we wanted better results but when you're playing against the top three teams pretty much in the league in a span of a week, um, it's a pretty hard test to begin with, especially coming off of you know a new coach and new ideas and a new style of play. So, you know, it's good to work out the kinks now. I think if we would be winning and we wouldn't be changing really anything, and this is really testing us, and this is ultimately going to make us a better team and better players. So, um, I'm excited for the next challenge. How hard is it to be patient, knowing that there are going to be growing pains when you're you know, going through all this and getting used to the new staff and everything. Yeah, I mean, this is this is football, you know, like it's it's a long season and there's, you know, we're going to we get to play these teams another two times at this point. So, um, yeah, this is just part of it. And, you know, it. I think our philosophy and our style of play will match much better with certain teams. I think, you know, a Salt Lake City is a team that likes to play. Um, so I think it's going to be a good brand of soccer. Um, I think some teams just have a different style, and it's a lot of lump and, you know, pick up scrappy second balls. And I think we just, we had a little, we were bullied a little bit, and we got to be better on, you know, set pieces and things like that. But I think against Salt Lake, you're going to see a good brand of soccer. I know Laura, you know, Laura likes to play football. She likes to move the ball, get it on the ground and play, and that's how Mark is. So you'll, you'll see some great things this weekend and I think that's where we're going to be at our best is a team that's going to let us play and um, you know not just be lumping balls into the box and very disruptive it's it's a hard style to play against. You had mentioned the pitch conditions in Seattle yeah uh, it's another it's soccer at a baseball stadium again what were the conditions like from, from field level? Yeah I think the um, the outfield was mint condition it was beautiful um, but when it's laid over the clay, it was just seams everywhere. It was very, very bumpy, very like, you know, just things would drop off and there would be a seam. But I, you know, I, I know there was a baseball game the night before and they worked all night to lay that, didn't have time to settle. So, um, yeah, I mean, you could, you can see where the grass has been laid. I know in the six yard box, um, it like dove down, it was clay and then it ramped back up right where the line was. So, um, it's just, it's, it sucks. You know, it's definitely, a, I think both teams walked out and were like, oh my gosh. So it wasn't just us. I think that was the first time they had seen it. Um, but I do think it's better than turf. And, you know, I, I think that moving forward, they probably will fix that. I don't think, I can't imagine them continuing to put players at risk with an uneven surface like that and seams exposed. So, I'm sure now that they've like learned their lesson, they probably should should 
fill that a few days in advance and make sure that it's covered with, you know, the seams are covered with sand or whatever it is they use and just to make sure that, you know, no wrong, no one, you know, steps wrong or the su surface moves underneath you. Um, so I'm hoping that, you know, they'll continue to get better at laying that and not putting the players so much in jeopardy of an uneven surf surface. Quick question, Ash. With it being the last, last game that U.S. players are available, how important is it for you to kind of set the tone going into this World Cup this round? Yeah, I, I think it's just the U.S. US players that won't be uh, at this game. The other internationals will be there. So, um, yeah, we want to leave on a good note. I think... You know, this is the thing that we've been saying as a team. When we go away, we don't want to come back to a nightmare. Like, that's probably the worst case scenario is to come back and be, you know, clawing from the bottom of the table. Um, we're pushing our roster as hard as we can right now. Even the players who didn't travel with us, they're out here every day um, grinding away because this year is going to take everyone. So we need to be in a good position that when we do leave, that we have people willing to step up and get us results. So when we come back, we're ready to compete for a playoff position and we're not clawing out of a bad hole we can't dig our way out of. So, yeah, we're, we're you know, originally we weren't even supposed to play in this game. We were only, the league was only going to let us play in three games. So um, we're very happy now that we were able to play. And, yeah, to, just to leave on a good note, we need, we need points. And... We can't drop points at home, so I'm I'm excited to play this weekend against a good team, and you know just see the improvements and the, the growth of the squad.